Hey everyone, welcome back to eSigAdvanced.com. My name is Cody and today I'm going to be talking about a new device coming out from Inikin. Uh, it's probably already out there now uh, or by the time you see this video. It is the Inikin iTaste SVD. Um, so if you, if you know anything about Anakin, they've had a couple devices out in the past. They had the uh, Ego Square style uh, variable voltage, which was a really nice device. Uh, they've also had the MVP, which had really good success. A lot of people really like that device. Um, and this would be their next installment of devices. You know, they're going to be releasing. It's called the SVD. Uh, I think SVD stands for Superior Vapor Device or Super Vapor Device or something along those lines. Um, so, let's get right into it. Uh, whenever you get your SVD in, uh, when you first open it up, you're going to be greeted by a beautiful, well, not beautiful packaging, I guess, but a nice packaging. Uh, you're going to see an iClear 30 here. You're going to see uh, just an extra tube, which is also uh, called your extension tube. And then you're going to see your device. Um, I have had quite a bit of problems Quite a bit of problems. I've had a problem uh, trying to get these out of here, so beware of that. They are extremely hard to get out of there. It almost takes a little bit of force. After a little bit, now that I've taken it in and out a couple times, it's kind of loosened up, but when you first get it, expect it to be uh, a little tough to get out of there. Uh, so once you get you know your device out, you can throw this away or whatever you do with it. It also comes with a uh, pretty good, pretty good user manual. Uh, it is quite thick, but it is because it has a lot of different uh, languages in there. The, uh, the English is pretty good, explains everything you need, but you don't necessarily need it. Um, everything that is pretty much in there, minus the uh, specifics of things and the voltage ratings and all that kind of stuff, uh, is actually etched into your mod. So we'll get a little closer here in a minute and talk about that. Uh, we also get a little sheet of paper that shows you how to fill the iClear 30s and as an extra bonus surprise you get another iClear 30 and in this white box you have three uh, of the heads for the iClear 30s so pretty cool very uh, you know has a lot of stuff in there uh, where can you get this well we got this from smartvapes.com uh, Smart Vapes is a pretty good vendor. They've been around for a while. I, I've actually purchased from them before, you know, even really knowing anything about them. Really good vendor. I really enjoyed them. <clears throat> so everything you get here, um, their price is $99 on their site. So let me tell you everything you get. We'll kind of break it down. Uh, you're going to get two iClear 30s. You're going to get three replace, replacement iClear 30 heads. You're obviously going to get the SVD and you're gonna get the extension tube. Uh, no batteries. Uh, most people now who are using mods or, and whatnot usually have batteries, so that's not a big deal. Um, so $99 seems pretty steep, but if you think about the price of the uh, iClear 30s right now, these are about 15 bucks a piece, and I think that's the low end. So just for sake of you know calculating things, we'll say $15 a piece. You get two of them, so that's 30 bucks. And then you're also getting three of the replacement heads. Let's say those are on the low end, mm, three bucks a piece. Let's just round that up to 10. So 40 bucks for the iClear 30s, and then everything else, you know, that would leave you with the cost of the SVD. Uh, so you take 40 bucks off that, you're looking at 59 bucks for the SVD. Really not that bad. Um, that's about comparable with most of the things out there on the market. So. It's all up to you guys. Uh, so let me uh, switch the camera angle a little bit. We'll come in a little closer and we'll talk about, uh, well, we will quickly run through some of the settings on the SVD. So here we go. All right, guys, so here we are a little bit closer. Um, hopefully we'll be able to pick all this stuff up on camera. It is kind of, uh, it blends in really well. So here's the extension tube. As you can see on there, it is labeled with the iTaste SVD logo, as well as the uh, tube, the standard tube on there is also labeled the same way. Um, your screen here is that uh, kind of mirrored finish that they have on almost all their devices. Um, seems to work really well. I have a little blemish on mine and that, that came that way from the factory. I don't know if you can see that one. 
There we go. You see that scratch in there? That was not done by me. It came that way, so that's kind of a bummer, but that's okay. Uh, we turn it around the other side. We are going to see iTaste SVD etched in above the button. The button is nice and clicky. Um, and then we're seeing all these like alien looking writing. At first glance, it looks like alien writing on the side. What that is, is basically um, it tells you what to do and how to switch it into variable wattage, how to switch it to variable voltage, how to check your ohms. Uh, it's pretty cool that they put on the, that on there because this device is loaded with features and uh, it can be kind of annoying to have to remember all that stuff. One thing I also want to touch on, this top part here, uh, kind of following suit with the uh, MVP, does kind of contain a beauty ring. You unscrew this and it shows an Ego style uh, connection head, which is awesome. Uh, a lot of people are really, or a lot of people rather, really like the uh, T3s. And this will fit a T3 with no problem. So T3 users, you might want to get an SVD. This thing is pretty pretty rad. Uh, I haven't seen a device out there, to my knowledge, that really can fit uh, you know, a T3 without an adapter. So awesome, uh, awesome news for you T3 users. It also fits one of the EVODs extremely well, and it does look quite sexy on there with the metal on metal. Let's get it lined up pretty. Look at that. Pretty slick. Um, so, this body here is telescopic, so it can accompany an 18490, uh, 18350, um, 18650, and with the extension tube, you can do tu uh, sorry, dual 18350s. Um, so, what are the limitations of this guy? Uh, now that I look around me, I don't have batteries, so let me go grab some batteries and we'll keep on going, guys. Sorry about that. All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, on me today, I just had a, a 118350 and an extra 18650. So here we go. We unscrew the bottom cap. Now, if you look at the bottom cap, it is a little different than most things I've seen. It does have a uh, kind of a shiny, much more shiny than the rest of the device. Um, kind of plating on there. Not too crazy about that. It kind of makes it look a little cheap. Uh, well, the bottom cap at least. Um, that pin right there is a floating pin, so it does go up and down, and that is so it kind of takes some of the rattling out, and I'll show you why. So if we're going to pop an 18350 in there, if you look, let's see if I can get it the angle right, there's a lot of play in there. Um, the battery kind of rattles around. It's a quite a large tube. Um, so that's not, you know, that's not awesome. But once you put this bottom cap on with that floating pin, you can tighten it down with the telescopic part and it doesn't rattle. Um, nice innovation, well, not necessarily innovation, but nice uh, thought, I guess, on that. You know, they were looking at details. So let's pop on the iClear 30s, or the iClear 30, just so we can see what it's like in 18350 mode. So this is 18350 mode. Um, it's kind of big, you know. It's not. It's not like the the, the best size, you know. It's and th you know when you're looking when you're judging these things, you're you're thinking about size versus you know whatever battery you put in there. Um, this is with an 18350, and it feels almost like my Pro Vary in 18650 mode. Um, you know, I guess it, you know that's subjective to buy what how you like your devices. But for me personally, it feels a little big for what I have in there. Um, anywho, let's go ahead and get started. To turn these uh, on and to turn them off, it is a three-click on the power button. So one, two, three. We will see off there. Let's do it again. Actually, I'll just show you two, three, on. All right, now we try to fire it here. It's gonna fire just fine. Um, so say you wanna check your ohms. If you look on the tube there, you see the little ohm symbol, and then you're gonna see two lines going from this button to this button. Uh, what that is basically telling you is to hold these two buttons here, and it will show you your ohms of your device. So two buttons, 2.1 ohms. 
Uh, pretty cool. I really like the ohm checkers on there. It's almost a, a, a must-have now on devices. Um, so if you want to change the voltage up and down, these buttons are also for that. So this up top here is going to be your positive. Oh, there we go. We get the lock. Um, so LOC means lock. So that means that's kind of a safety feature. It's locked on there. What you do is you hold both of these buttons down. And once it goes to uh, your wattage or your voltage, um, it is ready to be used. Now, for the wattage, it goes all the way from 3 watts all the way up to 15 watts in 0.5 watt increments. Uh, pretty nice there. 15 watts is uh, pretty good, pretty high. I would say to re really reach 15 watts, you're going to have to use this in dual 18 350 mode. <clears throat> and uh, I would show you that today, but I forgot the other 18 350 at home. Um, so now that I have this in power mode or wattage, um, say I want to go to voltage. What you need to do is refer back to the front of the device, and it looks like we need to hold our power button and we need to hold our minus button here. And I'll show you. See right there, it says VM. That is voltage mode. So let's hold those two buttons. See that? That says VO for voltage. Now its range in voltage is still really nice. We can go all the way from 3 volts, 0.1 increments, all the way to 6 volts. Um, I'd say you could reach that with a 350 um, possible, and definitely an 18650. Um, if you want to boost the longevity of your, you know, of your battery life, uh, dual 18350s, you're probably going to get quite a while with that. So uh, what else can we do with this guy? Um, say you have your voltage, let's see, this was a 2.1, 2. 2 point something, let's move it up to about 4.4. .4. Uh, you want to lock it back in place, hold both of these buttons again, like you would check your ohms, and LOC, we're locked down. Uh, but we can still fire. It just locks the voltage, so if you press it on accident, it's not going to move it for you. Um, so that's pretty much what it does. This thing has a lot of protection. Um, it works, we'll see what it has here. It has short circuit protection, reverse battery protection, battery voltage detection, resistive load detection, which is basically an old ohm meter, uh, on off, LED battery power display, low, low voltage warning, overtime vaping warning, um, battery safety protection. Um, you know, it has all kinds of stuff, all kinds of stuff. Um, so let me show you this while we're up a little close here still. Uh, I'm going to put it in 18650 mode. I'm going to press this, turn it off. One, two, three. Full light show. Uh, just to show you how large this thing is. I'll need that too. Pop that in there. Telescope it. Uh, so this thing, also, I wanted to comment and say that it does have a lot of threads. You know, it can take a little bit of time to actually get, put your battery in there and whatnot. And there we go. That is extremely long in my opinion. Um, if you hold it in your hand, it's almost like a lightsaber. And that's an 18650 mode. Now, if you can imagine, if you can see the difference in the tube there, you have another half an inch, so you add another half an inch to that. It's, it, it gets to be quite ridiculous. Um, but that's, you know, that's what depends on what you like, you know. Per, me personally, I wouldn't want to take this in public because it looks ridiculous. It's very huge and... Uh, you know, it doesn't necessarily look like anything bad, but it's just way too big for me. Um, it vapes well, I can tell you that, and uh, I'll actually show you that right now. So here we are, we're going to move back, and uh, we'll finish up this review. Alright guys, so that was a quick look at the iTaste SVD, or Superior Vaping Device. If you uh, want to check one of these out, you know, go to smartvapes.com, the, that's who we got this from, but I'm sure there are other vendors out there. Uh, Smart Vapes is offering everything that I talked about in this video, minus the you know the T3s and the and the EVOD and stuff, for ninety nine dollars. Really not that bad, guys. It's really not that bad. All you need to get after that is a ba some batteries and a charger uh, for a hundred and let's say 
150 bucks, that's high end, maybe 140 bucks. You have a really good device uh, that's, that feels like it's gonna last you. Um, I, I've really enjoyed it from the time I used it, but the only downside I saw to it was that it's really large. And that's what a lot of people are saying, it's just a little bit too big. Um, but, you know, you can use 18 350s for that. Um, you know, it's just, you know, it's just, a, just about what you think about it. You know, if you like large devices or even if you don't care, uh, it's a really nice device to check out. Uh, as always, make sure you uh, visit our forums at www.esigadvance.com slash forums. Uh, I usually check that daily and if anybody has any questions, uh, to me personally, you can find me on there as Cody underscore ECA or you could post in the comments on this video. I try to check those daily. Uh, if I don't get back to you as soon as you post it or anything like that, give me a couple days and I'll try to answer your question the best I can. Um, again, if you want to check one of these out, get it from smartvapes.com. They have them for 99 bucks. Uh, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.